Hi, this is question uh, 4 from the AQA Mechanics 1 January 2012 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to see if you can try the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and give the question a go. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go at that. I'm now going to go over a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. We've got a small ferry. Uh, and it's used to cross a river which has straight parallel banks that are 200 meters apart. The water in the river moves at a constant speed of 3 meters per second. The ferry travels from point A on one bank to point B vertically opposite A on the other bank and the velocity of the ferry relative to the water is V meters per second at an angle of 60 degrees to the upstream bank. For part A, we need to find V. Okay, so um, in order to find V, um, we need to set this up as a, um, as a vector addition. Because um, we are going in this direction initially at V meters per second, and our water is flowing at 3 meters per second in this direction then our resultant velocity um, we're being told is going to be straight up so I can add these vectors together and that should give me my resultant vector here um, I also know the angle here so I should use all the information that I've got there to work out um, what V is using trigonometry Part B says find the time it takes for the ferry to cross the river, giving your answer to the nearest second. So there's two parts to this. We first of all need to know what the resultant velocity is, which will be given by this end of our right angle triangle here. And then we, we need to use that information to then work out how long it would take to travel the 200 metres across the river. Okay, those are my hints if you'd now like to pause the video and see if you can have a go yourself. Okay, I'm now going to go over the full solution um, to this question. So, um, first of all, for part A, um, Okay, we're trying to find V, which is this here. Well, I know this is 3 meters per second. And I know that this is V meters per second. And I also know um, that my resultant velocity is going to be here. And that angle there, well, if that's 60 degrees, this here has got to be 30 degrees. Okay, so... Um, in order to find V, I know that the sine of 30 is going to be equal to my opposite divided by my hypotenuse, so 3 over V. So I can start by saying that sine of 30 degrees is going to be equal to 3 over V, which means V is going to be equal to 3 over sine 30. If I put that into, well, what we should know that sine of 30 is 0 0.5, so 3 over 0 0.5 is going to give me 6 meters per second. Okay, um, so we now know what V is. Part B, we need to find the time that it takes for the ferry to cross the river um, and given our answer to the nearest second. Right, so we first of all need to know the resultant velocity here. And my resultant velocity, and I can use Pythagoras to work that out. So my resultant velocity is going to be, um, and it's going to be the square root of v squared take away 3 squared. We worked out v to be 6, so that's going to be equal to um, 6 squared, which is 36. Uh, take away 3 squared which is 9 and 36 take away 9 gives us 27 so we've got root 27 which is equal to 
to 3 root 3 and that's going to be in meters per second okay so um, so that's our resultant velocity um, we want to know um, the time that it takes for the ferry to cross the river well the um, the river's 200 sorry the banks are 200 meters apart um, so if it's if this uh, boat is going to go three meters per second for 200 meters um, we can work out the time by doing the um, distance which is 200 divided by the speed which is 3 root 3 and that tells me that the time is going to be 38.5 in fact because we want our time to the nearest second is going to be 38 seconds and there you go okay hopefully you found that useful I look forward to seeing you again soon take care